This is my implementation of a genetic algorithm solving a TSP problem. Um, I have implemented both uh, the traditional Euclidean distance measure in the fitness function and my own uh, fitness function based on Dugan's curves, uh, which I have extended somewhat, but we'll look into that later. Let's start out with opening a file. I'll use the Berlin 52 example if from the TSP package you might know it. We already have a solution here, which is the nearest neighbor solution. And uh, as you can see here, there are some crosses uh, in the solution, which uh, tells us that this is, at least it's not optimal. But if you look at it, it looks quite nice. Now, uh, the Euclidean uh, genetic algorithm will try and swap uh, this around uh, to get a better uh, solution and in 5000 generations you can see the generation countdown here we will uh, have obtained something that is almost optimal now uh, in each of these waypoints we have a heading signified with this small dash here and um, if I were to set the vehicle constraints uh, for the vehicle that is going to follow this uh, TSP uh, solution, then um, it wouldn't be able to follow this Euclidean path if the minimum speed is more than zero. Uh, so let's uh, try and set uh, some vehicle constraints that makes a bit sense for this demonstration. Um, We'll have an insane acceleration, but that's fine. Um, so, just to show you how this looks, if we were going to use these waypoints with all east headings, uh, let's set the maximum speed. There we are. As you can see, this is very uh, messy. We can use the alternating algorithm to clean this up a bit. The alternating algorithm is setting the headings of every second pair or every pair you might say of waypoints to point in the same direction so we have a straight line here and the next pair a straight line and we're interconnecting these with Dubin's curves and uh, Dubin's curves are combinations of arc segments straight lines and an arc segment now the arc segment is defined in my uh, case here by the maximum rotational speed and the speed by which we are executing the turn. In this case, we set it to 150. If we were to set it to the minimum speed, it would look something like this, almost the same as the Euclidean case. Now, still with the um, alternating algorithm, we have some problem with the messiness in uh, these crowded centers here. This is what I tried to rectify with my Dubin's um, genetic algorithm. What the Dubin's genetic algorithm does is that it tries to um, modify the headings uh, so that it's not constrained by every other segment, but it also uh, sets the speed in each waypoint so that we can accelerate on and decelerate between the waypoints on the straight arcs. Um, I'll just set it to 20,000 here. So we'll see 20,000 generations. Let it evolve. In the beginning, it looks quite messy. But as we move along, you will see that it converges to something that is even better than the alternating algorithm gave us. Uh, you can already see here that we have some very tight turning ready and some very large ones here. This is because we're moving very fast uh, in these corner areas and when we get into the crowded centers here we reduce the speed in order to increase maneuverability and uh, collect more waypoints in a single pass. Now, 
this is not running as fast as the Euclidean case, of course, there's more computation and uh, most probably I didn't do the best job of optimizing everything. Uh, this is a proof of concept. I'll just let it run and we can see uh, where it ends up at. Of course, you can just skip the video. I'm not going to say anything uh, quite important from now on. Uh, I'll just let the algorithm run up to 20,000 generations. Thank you. That was it. And as you can see, things are looking a bit better now. Uh, I'll just zoom in a bit on this crowded area. As you can see here, we have some swooping behavior. We're swooping in, collecting the waypoints out again, then in again, and collecting what we can uh, while maintaining a, a high speed to reduce the time of flight. Because if we were going to reduce it totally to get all of it, actually it wouldn't be as fast. I'll just zoom out to let you have a look at the greater picture. There it is. Thank you for listening and watching.